thank you very much, Coach. Thank you for all the kind words. Um, it's a pleasure to share the evening with you, and uh, I am truly honored. Uh, congratulations, Dom, Carl, Tiffany, um, and Dan. Uh, certainly uh, a privilege to be inducted alongside uh, all of you, so congratulations on all your careers and accomplishments. Uh, certainly uh, my um, most prominent uh, emotion is one of gratitude, and it's been a special time to reflect uh, on my Harvard hockey experience and my time at the school, um, and, and most of all, I'm filled with, with gratitude and how much I appreciate it. And I think it started for me when we'd be busy at, at our classes and we'd have to walk across the bridge to get to the athletic facilities. And I learned pretty early on the importance um, to take little moments of appreciation, uh, to say, you know what, this is a pretty special place to be. It's busy and it's demanding, uh, but this is exactly where I want to be. Um, and I certainly remember um, being on my recruiting trip, um, and uh, I think Sal and her family had organized a gathering, and we called Ange on the phone to make sure we knew what her plans were. Um, and I remember calling my parents the next day from Harvard Square. I called them from a payphone um, in Harvard <laughs> Square. And I remember telling them that, I, you know what, I think this is a pretty special place, that I think I could be really, really happy here. And coming my freshman year far exceeded any expectations that I had. And for me, it was the team, it was the coach, it was the whole experience. So coach, thank you for inviting me on that recruiting trip and for um, believing in me from day one. And you know, I think about the people that you um, recruited to be a part of, of the program. Um, and I think about at every stage that you believe in everyone. And when I do events now, when I talk about leadership or communication, uh, Coach Stone is often the first person that I talk about, about her recognizing the skills and the strengths that people on our team had and recognizing that every person might need something a little bit different uh, to be at their best. And in the moments that it was going well, you were there to support us. And I also think about moments in my career, whether it was at Harvard or post-Harvard, that didn't go so well. And I remember for me, it was in 06, the Olympic year. And my goal was to be one of the best players in the world. And I remember halfway through that Olympic year, uh, we had meetings with the coaches of the Olympic team. And we were in rural, um, the prairies in Canada, in Western Canada. It was in Saskatchewan. And we had a, a meeting with the coaches. And after that meeting, I was told my feedback was that I was on the bubble, which meant they weren't sure if I was going to make the Olympic roster or not. And my goal was to be one of the best players in the world. And I was really upset um, after that meeting. But I remember going back to the hotel room, and you know, I thought about what would Coach Stone tell me to do in this, in this moment. And I remember her telling me about, you know, think about having your jersey flapping in the wind and uh, how you want to feel. So it was in those moments that I think it was those little pieces of advice about loving the game and playing for the right reasons and thinking about having your jersey flapping in the wind that got me back to that state of playing with a free mind and unburdened heart and shifted that whole path in terms of my performance, how I wanted to play. I made the Olympic team, contributed the way that I wanted to, and continued on to play in 2010. But it was those lessons that I learned when I was playing here at Harvard um, that helped through that whole journey. Um, you know, I think about, um, you know, I think that's the biggest thing for coach. It was, it was uh, day in and day out, and whether we, you know, walk by the, the cave uh, that doesn't uh, necessarily exist <laughs> anymore, but that was a, a place where you always could touch base with your teammates and know to make sure that everybody was at their best. Uh, to my team uh, that's here, thank you guys for being here tonight. Uh, and I know life... <laughs> Well, I know Cleve's probably going to come up to the podium at some point for an announcement. Um, but to all of you, you did make the, uh, the Harvard hockey experience pretty oneric. It was, um, it was pretty, pretty dreamlike. But for all of you guys, I think, um, you know, to, to, to many moments, whether, you know, uh, the tunes in the locker room, whether it was, you know, you're not going to take it. And I, I found out that the team is still playing the song to this day. Um, you know, if I needed an extra D-Hot Tux, you guys were there. Um, I thought about I needed some more tape for my face. It was always there too. You know, if I needed an Annie costume, you guys were there. I talked about my focus, and you guys said at some points my focus wasn't quite as intense <laughs> as usual. Um, but you guys, you won't, but you guys always went above and beyond. And um, whether it was body checking me in the hallway before we hit the ice because you thought I played better when I was intense, um, or being there to pick me up, um, you guys, uh, I'm forever grateful. Uh, for the support that you guys have given. You know, I think about uh, 
winning the national championship our freshman year, my freshman year, um, and I think about you know leaders on the team. I think about Kimbo and Sal and Claude uh, that you guys always uh, took uh, to the team first mentality, and whether it was including everybody in every gathering or making sure that every person was involved and included in everything. Uh, and you guys always kept me happy. You know, I think that was something that your caring demeanor was contagious for our locker room, and it wasn't about how many minutes you got to play or who got the goal. It was that we were in this um, in a team first uh, approach. Approach, and that was contagious in that locker room. Um, you know, to, to my roommates over the years, um, and your sophomore year your roommates, and to this day I still admire and respect you, and it was a great experience, and I think for us it was always about pushing each other. You know, whether it was on the ice, we battled hard, whether we were playing on the same team um, here at Harvard or against each other on the Olympic or world stage, um, but it's a friendship that I continue to value. Uh, I think about, you know, Angie, who uh, made the video, so we know that she's here, and, uh, and uh, and Sal, that uh, for you guys, you always um, allowed me to maintain my perspective. And for each of you that is this here tonight, it's, it's friendships for life. For the class of 03 that welcomed me uh, when I transferred from 02 to 03, that um, Jimmer or Jammer, as my family would sometimes call you, uh, Space, that you're here as well. We've got notes from Pamka and Kay as well. Uh, but for you guys, it was whether it was the bots dip that we needed to do in the locker room or whatever it might have been, uh, you guys were always there. Shuddy, um, the ultimate talent. And my parents, that, that's their, their first memory from Harvard was on a trip here and Shuddy was, was playing, you know, and singing. And that's, that's for them, their, their lasting impression. And, and for us, it was. It was intense and busy, but you guys, could, you could always take us to a special place. And Shuddy, it's great to see you here. So thank you for being here. Um, Lauren, my twin, I didn't know if you wanted to come up to the podium just to finish <laughs> off. I mean, okay, you're good. But uh, for you, uh, you know, whether it was making light of the freshman 15 or uh, Thanksgiving dinner with your family, uh, you guys guys were always there. Um, the FFDs that are here in the house tonight, Rando, Dottie, um, well, besides being brilliant, they definitely, uh, I think, had the highest SAT scores I've ever seen, so they kept up uh, the women's hockey average. Uh, but your solid play, and like I said, you always kept the locker room uh, very entertained. Uh, for Kat, Ash, uh, and Cleve, the younger crew that's here tonight, the talents, whether we were playing on the same line or on the ice together, uh, you guys always brought a fun dynamic to that locker room, and it really was a joy uh, to share the experience with you guys. <laughs> um, team, you know, I think about, um, you know, Worlds or Olympics, and I think whatever it took, you guys were there. Um, you know, team stayed in a Winnebago in the, in the parking lot at the World Championships in Mississauga, and it was literally, you know, a week after our Harvard hockey season had wrapped up, and they, were, and they had to, you know, you guys snuck into the hotel washroom, I think, at the Hilton, just to make sure that you guys could use the washroom, but... They were there with their faces painted half Canadian and half US uh, to support us at the World Championships. Um, so like I said, I think you know, my, my parents always talked about the Harvard hockey experience and um, they would have loved to be here today. They're in Toronto taking care of our two young girls uh, right now, but they definitely sent uh, big hugs and, and they always said, you know what, that they felt like with Harvard Hockey, there was always a little bit more magic, is how they felt. You know, whatever the situation we were in, uh, you know, my dad and my mom would say, you know what, I always think that there's just a little bit more magic. Uh, so thank you to all of you for all of those magical moments uh, that we had over the years, whether it was national championships, uh, bean pots, Ivy League championships, ECAC playoffs, um, uh, whether it was tailgating, whatever it might have been, uh, it, was, it was always very special. Um, you know, and I think about the lasting impact that I wanted to have, you know, leaving Harvard, I talked about how I wanted to feel at the end, um, and it was each of you guys that made the experience special for me, and, uh, and our lifetime friendships is one I'm always going to value. Um, thank you to Brant that's here that helped me uh, at the, um, uh, towards the end of my career, and took my career to a new level, and always built on my Harvard experiences, and provided me with new opportunities. Uh, so thanks, Brant, for being here. I'm very grateful. Uh, to my family, like I said, my parents, um, Cal and Jareen, for um, supporting both my brother and I. Jason has always been a huge inspiration for me as well and the path that he took. He played NCAA hockey and I thought I'd love to be uh, in a similar position to have the chance to play um, university hockey. And I always admired that. And my parents always offered Jason and I the communication tools. And it was always our decision in the end on where we wanted to go to school or what sports that we wanted to play. Um, but I certainly appreciate them tremendously. I think my, my parents might miss the Harvard days even almost as, as much as I do or even more in terms of those friendships. And uh, the Harvard hockey family quickly became our extended family uh, for all of us, uh, my parents and myself.
Uh, to my husband, Adrian, uh, thank you. I love you. Uh, my soulmate, I think when I, this whole experience of looking back and, and certainly feeling grateful, uh, perhaps I'm most grateful of all uh, that the path led me to you and that we found each other. Um, <laughs> but uh, thank you to, um, uh, we've got two young girls. Uh, Maya's uh, just over three, and Isabel Brooklyn will be one next week. And uh, we talk about, about them, and, and I think we say, you know, that um, our wish is that one day they can find coaches or teachers uh, similar to you, Coach Stone, that they can learn from and grow and help them to reach their potential in whatever passion that might be. You know, our hope for them, what they've, what they find friends and teammates uh, like the ones that I had uh, and continue to have from Harvard Hockey. Um, and we hope they find people that support them in ways um, that I've had. And our ultimate um, you know, dream that I would say that we can help them with fun choices and our, their ultimate dream would, would be that they can perhaps, um, you know, one day we'll receive a phone call from somewhere uh, that they might be. I'm, I'm imagining it probably won't be from a pay phone for one of them when they get older. Um, but hopefully they're calling us from some special location where they get a sense there might be something, you know, very special waiting for them on their horizon, similar to how I felt when I called my parents from Harvard Square. Uh, so again, uh, congratulations to all the inductees. Thank you, uh, coach, my teammates, uh, my husband, my family. Uh, it's a privilege to be here tonight. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Thanks. Thank